My name is Raquel Turner and I am the founder of Mothers Fighting for Others and we run a home in Kenya uh, for girls called St. Monica's Children's Home. My first trip in 2007 to Kenya, I met 25 amazing girls. Anywhere between four years old and at that point probably 16. These 25 girls were true orphans because of you know, HIV or if it was because their parents had just died or a political issue that had happened and they had been murdered, they were brought to the home. The biggest thing that hit me was I was never alone. The girls were constantly on me, wanting to hold my hand, hug me, kiss me. They just wanted that closeness, that, that feeling of a touch, and especially from a mom. My goal every time I go is to hug them, to look at them, to really look at them and tell them that I love them. Because the stigma of being an orphan in general is hard enough for them to deal with. You're less than. You, obviously you've lost your parents and you don't have a home and you can tell the kids that are, are the have-nots, you know, the, the shoes that have huge holes in them, the socks that don't fit, the, the, the huge you know, holes in their sweaters, you can tell. The name Mothers Fighting for Others came about because I always figured what would happen if I died. I mean, I've got six kids. That would be a lot of work for someone to take on. Mothers Fighting for Others is what we think that their mothers would have wanted for them. And we figured, got to have a great education and to make sure that they're loved and that they know that they're loved. The conditions at the home were painful to look at. They were in a, a building that was just an old hospital. No grass, not really cement. It was dirt with a lot of rocks around it. That's what I saw. I was worried. Things weren't wonderful at the old home. You know, the girls um, were not happy there. Not a place to laugh and play and just be kids. Mrs. Gotomi was on the board of directors. When we needed to move, she became my partner. Now we have you know, 33 girls to put through school and 33 girls to take care of. Simple things, like underwear, or just going to school. I mean, simple, simple things. If you don't get an education and you're a girl, life gets very difficult and you're most likely going to stay at home. And you're most likely going to have lots of children and you're most likely going to have other girls, daughters who don't go to school as well. And so we just know that by giving these girls an opportunity to go to school just to finish high school. And so that changes everybody's lives everybody's lives now multiply that by you know 34 44 children and we've changed a complete community